one thing we noticed we didn't talk about yet with the TV show was there was a very, very small set of clips at, at the end of a Disney Plus promo that were Percy Jackson related. Um, and they seem to be from two particular scenes, one of which is Clarice and Percy fighting on the beach when I'm guessing right after she saves them from the Hydra. Um, and in that clip in the background, I had made a post on this on my page that you can see one soldier behind Clarice's so shoulder that like, um, it appears to not necessarily strictly be a Confederate soldier. The hat particular doesn't look like that time period. And um, when I asked my brother, his first instinct was World War One. though he was like, it could potentially still be a Confederate. Maybe they just got the costume wrong. Um, and then on the picture with Percy, there is what appears to be a Viking behind him. So we think that in lieu of an entirely Confederate crew, they might be going with different eras, just different eras of fallen soldiers. Either way, I love that idea yeah <laughs> i i i like think i think that it would be really funny to have all of them like speak different languages and, and be like just from like completely different times in history and have and be like arguing <laughs> all the time with each other about like no we should do it this way no we should do it that way and yeah. or whatever and clarice just sitting there like why is this my life <laughs> yeah like it would definitely i mean even if, if they're from the same country but different time periods how they operate as a military unit could be very very different and so there would probably be a lot of fights about like oh i'm the highest ranking after clarice and so you have to listen to me kind of stuff um that would probably be a very easy in for comedy of like who is the most qualified? Where does the hierarchy structure fall? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I so a lot of people in my comment section were still okay with Clarice having a Confederate army. And it's definitely tricky remembering that like, um, they're begrudgingly following Clarice's orders for sure, but they, they only openly dislike Annabeth. Yeah, so that could be like, is it really just because she's a Yankee, Yankees fan? Yeah. Like, I don't think that's it. Yeah, and it's also a thing of like, I get the idea because we've we've talked about we talked about this when we read Sea of Monsters. Mm -hmm. Like, I get the idea of liking the idea of Confederate soldiers having to listen to a black person and do what they say. Mm -hmm. Also, a thing of like, most of the time when black people have roles in movies and tv and stuff it has to do with slavery uh -huh. most of the time when black people win oscars it's because they're playing a role that has somehow to do with slavery and it's like what if the show doesn't do that like like what if they just like don't make black people be reminded of that when they get reminded of that every single day of their lives <laughs> and yeah. instead they just like get to enjoy this for what it is like they don't need that and they can just they can do the same story like the same general idea it's just like clarice is stuck with people that don't want to listen to her and are from like an old battle where they lost and like there's lots of battles through history where people lost yeah it doesn't have to be from that one like they picked that in or rick picked that originally because everyone was white in the mm -hmm. original books and it was like an American battle and every and his whole story is about, you know, all the mythology people being American centric now that we're the center of Western society. Mm -hmm. And so like that's why he picked it, but it doesn't have to be like that now, especially when actors are playing that stuff out. I can only imagine that, that would make them feel really uncomfortable. Yeah, and it's not that necessary to the plot they're really in so little of it considering i'm pretty sure they just kind of disappear after they get to the island so they, they all blow up yeah they, they all blow up when the ship blows up and that's it so they're only there for a couple of scenes anyway they are really horrible to tyson and make him scared and that's basically 
their role mm-hmm. and maybe the show will get will show more of them and what Clarice is dealing with and things like that um but at least for like the book that's all they're there for and that's not necessary yeah yeah so that was like an interesting thing to pick up on the other scene was the chariot scene and we see the front of two of the chariots it's kind of hard to tell who's next to percy um on twitter most people were speculating clarice um although in the books you mentioned it's charles beckendorf um so it could be either you can't tell because everybody's in armor but you can clearly tell which one's the poseidon one at least because it has a trident on it and tyson's in it (laughs) yeah the only it's the other one only you can only see one person um and i i i'm assuming that it's clarice just because they're very obviously like showing that dynamic that that Clarice and Percy have in that book Mm -hmm. and especially because we know that after the chariot race is when uh what's his face I forget his name in this moment decides just decides that Clarice won (laughs) even though she uh you know did it she just happened to survive because because Percy and Annabeth went off to like stop the birds that were attacking them (laughs) and so she just won by default because the other people ran off in the middle of the battle to go save everybody but since they're like setting that up it feels like it probably is probably going to be her Mm -hmm. especially because of the fight that they have yeah like later and everything that and it makes sense why this why these fights would happen um but it's just i feel like that's like the consistent story that they're telling is is clarice and percy uh going at it <laughs> yeah and i feel like that's gonna make the ending so much more powerful too where he's like here you take the fleece back because she's not gonna be expecting it at all of course yeah and like the the other thing from that little clips of the only like voiceover thing we got is Percy saying like everything in this world has suddenly changed everything is different mm-hmm. and he sounds like upset when he's saying it and it's like yeah that's when we were reading Sea of Monsters I was like yeah it is kind of overwhelming in this book how he comes back here and literally every single thing about this place that he loved is different everyone's treating him differently everyone's treating like Annabeth is being not nice to him because of Tyson kids at camp don't want to listen to him like everything is more stressful um and Clarice is kind of a way to show that because of how like she's going on this quest that everyone knows she shouldn't go on um that it's not a good idea for her to go on it but she's going on it anyway and going on it alone yeah and going on it alone and and like leaving everyone at camp when everyone's scared and um and is just doesn't want to admit that she can't handle it because she feels like she can't and and so yeah if i was if i was percy in in those circumstances especially because right when she shows up is like after they get away from luke and after the whole hydra thing yeah he tries to ask annabeth like why do you hate my my brother he hasn't even like why do you hate my brother so much and she doesn't really give him an answer um it's like yeah at a certain point you're like you know what fine (laughs) like let's fight you're gonna show up here when we're on this island by ourselves and wake us up in the middle of the night or whatever how from like the the scene that we saw them film it looks like him and tyson were sleeping and then they show up and scare tyson and then which is already bad enough for percy (laughs) that somebody is scaring tyson and and another person is being mean to him and then she shows up and immediately is just like let's fight and it's just like sure (laughs) like sure let's fight why why not fight sounds like a great time for everybody (laughs) 